This is The Randy Rhodes Show on 960 KNEW and online at 960KNEW.com. Hey, Bill, you don't look so good. What's the matter? I'm just feeling the side effects from this dang recession. I I just can't shake it. Maybe you have something else. Ever hear of a debt crisis? Oh, uh, well, yeah, but I don't think... That... Here's Paul Ryan to explain it. We are facing a debt crisis in this country. That proves it. Jeez. You see, you could have a debt crisis, debt crisis. and not even know it. Oh, no. Now I'm scared. Good. But don't worry. Paul Ryan has a solution. The new Ryan budget. This is a document, a plan that balances the budget in 10 years. Wow. Okay. How does that work? Simple. The Ryan budget identifies government programs that benefit everyday Americans. And it eliminates them. Anything to get rid of this debt crisis I didn't even know about. How about you? Are you suffering from a debt crisis that Paul Ryan says is killing you? We are facing a debt crisis in this country. The answer is the new Ryan budget. Three times faster than the old Ryan budget because it's got <laughs> concentrated wealth. <laughs> <laughs> not for the non-wealthy. Do not take Ryan budget if you have income less than $1 million. If you develop nightmares, take more. They cause anal leakage. Yes, Paul Ryan selling the Olestra of our time. The Ryan budget, which really should be burned in a secret oven in the Vatican. And Black Smoke ought to come out and say, mm, you know, uh, or we could sue him. Misdiagnosed. Misdiagnosed. He diagnosed me with a deficit crisis. And the truth is, we need jobs. You know, misdiagnosed. Uh, I, I just, I, I can't, I, I cannot believe that he's doing this for round three. I mean, you, you've probably followed what's happened so far. You know, you, you have uh, Paul Ryan saying that the law is the law and he's not going to relitigate the law and blah, 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 except for Obamacare. Uh, that law he hates. That is a bad law. That is a law he wants to repeal, even though he's including in his deficit reduction figures the amount of money that we've saved so far under Obamacare, $716 billion. And he counts it twice. First, he says it's going to be, you know, he, he, he accounts for it in the deficit reduction numbers. And then he says, we're going to put it right back into Medicare. This is what they ran on in 2012 in the United States said, we don't believe you. Okay, these are monstrous cuts. It doesn't, re you keep counting these things two, two, three times. You won't tell us what you want to cut. This is not, we're not going to give up on health care. It's already passed. The amount of time and effort it took us to get it done, the amount of money we're saving, and the amount of money our seniors have already saved by closing the donut hole, at least partially. The amount of money we save by not having to buy our kids separate health care policies, and we're just able to include them on our employer health care policy for a little bit extra, is good. The amount that the growth of the Medicare program has slowed is good. We like this thing. What is wrong with you? And he says, well, we have to repeal it. We have to repeal Obamacare. Let's take Obamacare, for example, the Affordable Care Act. We don't like this law. Too bad. This is why we're proposing to repeal this law in our budget. More importantly, we believe... First of all, you can't repeal a law in your budget because, let's just say, the Senate will never, ever, never, ever, ever vote for that. And the president will never, ever, ever, never sign it. So his premise is flawed from the beginning, which means he's a BS artist. You know I want to say it, because that's what he is. 